Hi everybody, it's Anne here with your Astro Oracle card reading for April 2021. I'm using my Time to Shine deck and I've chosen an individual card for each astrology star sign. So each of you get a bit more of a personal reading. So these are things we can be mindful of to place into our month our angel homework for each individual sign. So let's get right on with the reading. So we start with Aries. You have the 12 of wisdom. It's about looking at things with a new perspective in a positive new light and being your own individual self, celebrating that individuality. Look at the angel here. She's turning a cartwheel. She's looking at things differently and being her wonderful self. So that's your message for April. Moving on to Taurus. We have the three of wisdom. This is all about getting busy, taking action on those new projects. Here we have the angel with her clipboard, with her to-do list on. The clock says busy, time to get busy for you. And remember to nurture and take care of yourself too whilst you're having this busy time starting new projects. Gemini, we have the card, the five of thought. Time to move in a new direction. Learn from experience, move on with brilliant new plans. Look at the angel here, she's ditching the old plan. She's learned her lessons and she's moving forward in her direction with a brilliant new one. Cancer or moon child, as we can also know it. We've got the card, the four of emotion. So it's time to look out for wonderful new opportunities coming your way. Stand back and pay attention. Look, the angel has a binoculars. She can see these wonderful things coming into her, but she's standing back and looking at the bigger picture. And that's what you need to do this month. Leo. The nine of thought. Choose your thoughts with care. Focus on optimism and positivity. Look at the angel. She can look at the glass with the cordial in as either half full or half empty. Focus on the positive and the glass half full. Virgo. We have the two of thought. This is all about making positive decisions. Trust that you already know what to do. So get out of the thinking about it, dithering, make those positive decisions and be ready to move forward. Libra, we have the one of action, wonderful new opportunities coming for you. Be ready to take them when they come. Just go for it. Look at the angel, she's all ready. She's ready to follow her dreams and she's ready to take those opportunities. That's the message for you, Libra. Scorpio, we've got the Eight of Wisdom card for you. This is about justice and integrity and doing what you know is right. The angel here is out walking and following her moral compass to make good decisions. So do what you know is right. Make those decisions with integrity. Sagittarius, we have the nine of emotion, the make a wish card for you. It's enjoying dreams coming true, high levels of self-confidence and self-esteem. Look at the angels here. They've had such good news. They are jumping for joy. That's the message for you, Sagittarius. And Capricorn. We have the four of thought. Time for you to pause, make decisions later, meditate and have a rest and look at the angels here. They're watching the sun go down, They're having a cup of tea and some quality time. But they're taking that break so that when they return, they will be refreshed and renewed. That's what you need to focus on Capricorn. Aquarius. We have the eight of thought. 
time to break free from negativity and have some self-belief. Look at the angel. She's got a balloon of negative thoughts and she's about to pop it with a pin. She has a new balloon saying, oh, yes, I can. So this is about self-belief, self-confidence, ditching old habitual ways of thinking that hold you back and be ready to step forward with positive new things. And Pisces, we have the Four of Wisdom card. This is all about organisation, leadership, making plans and staying disciplined. Look at the angel. She's sorting a desk out into boxes of neat, tidy and very neat and tidy. She's getting organised. She's showing those leadership qualities and that's just what you need to do, Pisces. So have a wonderful month, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this. Like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel, then you'll get notified when I do the next reading for you. So have a wonderful April and I'll see you here soon. Take care now.